Gullah had been enslaved, survived the bombing of the Union ships, and the oppression of a northern abolitionist named Edward Philbrick. Unfortunately, there was another battle around the corner. In 1865, Congress created the Freedmen's Bureau. The Freedmen's Bureau was part of the Reconstruction period after the Civil War. This department was created to assist African Americans, including land provision. People who had recently been freed from slavery would be given 40 acres for three years. And after the three years, they would be able to purchase the land from the U.S. government. This included the land of the Sea Islands. Most of the Gullah had lived on the Sea Island plantations their entire lives. Some had been sold into slavery there. Others had been born into Sea Island families. Now all they wanted was to have a piece of land so they could care for their families and live in peace as every other American. Some of the Gullah were excited to finally have their own land. Others still worried the Freedmen's Bureau was not an official guarantee that the land would be theirs. Then something happened that changed everything. President Abraham Lincoln was shot and killed. Lincoln's assassination happened only a month after the Freedmen's Bureau was created. Immediately, the newly instated President Andrew Johnson swiftly reversed any federal laws that protected black Americans who had been recently free. In fact, Andrew Johnson made a new law. All the former plantation owners could reclaim their lands. This meant that the Gullah's land had to be returned to treasonous slave owners. But the Gullah people were brave and strong. They had prepared for a day like this. 200 Americans gathered in front of one of the largest plantations. They had pistols, muskets, clubs, and sticks. The six American soldiers who had been sent to enforce the new law were quickly forced to leave. A few days later, 50 more soldiers returned, but now even more Americans stood up to fight. One person cried, we have one master now, Jesus Christ, and he'll never come to collect taxes or drive us off. The Gullah were about to begin fighting at any moment. Finally, the leader of the freedmen yelled out a military command, fall in. That day, American soldiers left the freed people of the Sea Islands. At the same time, all over the South, thousands of former plantation owners were reclaiming land. Americans who had been formerly enslaved now had no place to live. Many were now forced to rent land from former slave owners with no money and no support from the U.S. government. Unlike their black brothers and sisters on the mainland, over 60% of the people on the Sea Islands became land owners. Thanks for watching Deeper Than Red. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media.